We've got a little baby sitting here. I'm going to open the screen so you can see him. He's just here coming to learn how to feed. He's probably just learning to fly. He's a little thing. Isn't that cute? Right here. Yep, that's a baby. I don't want to bother him because he probably just barely made it over here to start with in my window. See, the moms a lot of times bring their babies where there's feeders to teach them how to feed. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and you know what? Today I want to talk about feeding stations, which it looks like is almost empty here, that was done this morning and ready to be redone. Feeding stations are fabulous for hummingbirds. Safety in numbers. And you're looking here through my screen. I'm actually redone my whole screen so I could have a feeding station and see all I have to do is lift it and I can now service all my hummingbirds right here. I don't want to bother him and he's even got a little bit of fuzz still on his back and look how short the tail is. I'm hoping you can see him. He's got a tiny short tail. Thousands of hummingbirds come to feed here. It all started with that one over there. That was the original single hummingbird feeder out my kitchen window that I put there. That, that hummingbird built a nest for two years and raised multiple babies on that hook. But once she started raising the babies, I had to move over here and place another hummingbird feeder here, which now has ended up to be, what, seven hummingbird feeders? Not counting the little ramekins that are set up here, the little dots, and even periodically I put some here. Let me show you how it's hooked up, and I don't want to bother this little baby who's just learning the fly. Kind of stuck my head out the window and we got some hooks out here. And as you can see, screwed in hooks, and I just put some wire, that's a coat hanger, and just hung some hummingbird feeders here. Well, when you create a feeding station, now it's not a single flower. There are dozens and dozens of seats here for these hummingbirds. And this is why there's no fighting, because they figured out that this is a place that they can come like a bush, like the hibiscus out there, and they can all feed together. There is plenty of food for everybody. Let me take you out on the deck and show you another feeding station I've got here. And you can maybe set up your own to bring hundreds or thousands of hummingbirds. And let's leave that little baby alone so he can learn what a feeder is. Isn't that cute? He's literally one foot from me. No, you can't see him out there. But he's just sitting there. He still has fuzz on his back. He's got a short little tail. He's so cute. So cute and so tame. He goes, well, my mom is here. So if my mom is here, it must be safe. Let's go outside. You know what? Before I go outside, I want to show you one thing here. I also have a feeder out there, but because there's generally one out there, and sometimes a bird will come and sit on top and protect it because there's one feeder. But when you have multiple feeders, they don't generally do that. Let's go outside and let me show you on my deck another unique feeding station. And let's lead the baby to be with its mom and learn what a hummingbird feeder is. This is set up on my deck. You can set up a feeding station on a patio, a deck, in your garden, anywhere you want. You really need such a small space. I'm even gonna clean this up and put a different counter on here. This is just scrap wood that I found and I put a table there and I just propped this thing up last year and you know, I can clean this up better. But what I wanted to show you here is this is a wonderful feeding station. And again, I don't have any fighting or anything going on because there's multiple things going on here. I've got four feeders here, not counting this one. You want to count this one, this little ramekin? You know, like you get for fast food. I've got that one. And you know what's unique about this? This is all made by me. It's all handmade. It's all a DIY project for making hummingbird feeders. This one is an ice cream container. And yes, I've got the video how I made it last year and I even make it easier this year. This one is a cottage cheese or sour cream container. They love it. This is just a beautiful coffee mug I had with, look, a peanut butter cup in here. Look at that. And then of course, this one is just a tray, just a food tray with a kid's pizza in there with holes in it. The hummingbirds feed all day here. 
all day they come and there's no fighting. You know, some will sit there, some will go here and they will just come here, feast. And I'll tell you something, let me give you a hint before I forget. Out of all these feeders that I have to, during the day come out here, I open them up, I wash them, I put new nectar in that I make. This is the one that is the last one to get emptied because this one doesn't have a real good place for them to sit on. Though I have seen the past couple days, some of them have figured out there's a small lip there and they can sit and eat there. But here, this one's got a lip, they like to sit. This one, they sit on the edge. This, they sit on the edge. And here, though they fly to it, they sit here and they feed from here. And this is just a DIY water project I made, a solar fountain. See, there's my fountain. And yes, they do come and take a bath, but they're coming here for the food. Feeding stations, generally don't have too many problems with fighting. You're going to have some quarreling because somebody's got a favorite seat that they want to sit on. You know, they want to sit in that spot and they don't want their spot taken when they come back and somebody's sitting there and they'll push them off. That's okay. But massive fighting? No, because look how many places there are for them to feed on. You can feed 10 birds there. I haven't seen 10 at one time feed on the ice cream container, but I have had six or seven feed at one time. One will come here, there's multiple holes. You'll have one or two feeding here. You'll have a few sitting there, a few will sitting there. And occasionally you even have other birds come and take a sip from the sugar water I make, which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar to one cup of water. But today I just wanted to talk about feeding stations. If you're interested in these different things, I can sit down and go over, I haven't done the cottage cheese container, how easy it is to make that. And no, it is not full. There's a tray inside. And by having a lid on top, it keeps everything nice and clean. You don't have really a bee problem and it just works perfect. But think about having a feeding station somewhere because sometimes that single feeder in the yard hanging somewhere becomes in their head a flower that they wanna protect. Here, it's like a big bush. It's for everybody to come and they don't have the same protection. And again, a lot of times they like coming to these places because it's safety in numbers and that's why they come in multiple numbers and they love to come and feed. This bird is less than two feet from me. And look, oh, we got a treat. He's gonna, see how we can't sit on this? But he loves all the feeders. This is so fun. So think about setting up a feeding station, giving your birds a place where they can come. And if you wanna set up a bird bath, that's great. And you don't have to, but the birds will love it, you'll love it. And look how pretty it looks too. And this is all a DIY. So here is a surprise ending, not just for you, for me. I decided to do a short video today on feeding stations because hummingbirds love feeding stations. And as I was doing it, we saw the baby in the window that appeared today. Well, that was fun. And then when I stepped out on the deck, lo and behold, I had a baby sitting here with my oregano and my stevias growing. And mom has continued to feed the baby. She's been taking care of that baby. Well, that's not the surprise. Let me show you the surprise. The surprise is this. Here on my deck where I come out dozens of times a day, she's been sitting on a nest right here, inches from where I work, with my carrots and my tomato plants and parsley, and she's been sitting there watching me for weeks. I've never noticed her. She's got all the hummingbird feeders there. She's got the feeding station here and she parked herself here, built a nest and has been raising babies. And today, as you can see, she's moving them around. They can't feed yet on their own, but she's teaching them. She's feeding them and she will usually separate the babies just for safety reasons in case something happened. Not always, but sometimes they do. So you and I had a wonderful learning lesson on how hummingbird nests are so small and they can be sitting right in front of your face and you don't even see them. And yet they're watching you. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye everybody. What fun.